Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to um, another unboxing. <laughs> um, I uh, just want to say thank you to everyone. I uh, noticed that, you know, I, I reached 100 um, subscribers and I um, will be doing the giveaway soon. I just have to wait for my Tame Wild box since that's going to be one of the piles um, for when that comes. So um, just watch out for, I emailed them asking, you know, about shipping um, information. So I'm just going to be, you know, looking for that. So yeah, um, so this is September's Witch's Moon. And usually, like, you know, the moon box is um, kind of around a ritual, you know, like a item, a big item, or like two items to use, like, with a ritual, in a ritualistic way, ritual tools, um, things like that. So, um, I believe that the theme was, like, the witch's cottage. I did see what's in here, but I kind of forgot at the same time, um, since it's been... My box came pretty late this month. Um, here's what it looks like inside. So this is, I've been seeing this Oracle deck around. Um, and it's actually been one on my wish list. So, um, I know um, a friend of mine has that deck. I'll probably ask her what um <laughs> what the um, name for that one is. So I, I'm feeling like kind of just weird because my birthday's tomorrow. Today is Wednesday at the 13th, and tomorrow's the 14th. And um, yeah, like 27 is a weird age. I feel like <laughs> um, pretty turning, but. You're like in between, you know, it's like a weird, it's a weird time. But, um, so yeah, this is, the theme is the witch's cottage. So we have that. Here's the top of it. Um, I will just read, um, uh, the top part, I guess. Um. We find the culmination of our thoughts, dreams, and magical workings within our home. As practitioners, this space holds the most sacred and vital parts of ourselves. The energy of protection, healing, and abundance are cultivated through ritual and practice and are imbued into the items and surround us in our humble sanctuary. These rituals include an unending variety of magical assistance and can guide us in intentional creating a safe and wonderful environment. In this extremely exclusive collection, we include items that have been in creation for many, many months. Intended to bring magic to your sacred space, we're thrilled to finally release these items in the unique and one-of-a-kind collection. And then it just, um... what's right for you. In the end, where the most potent magical results are formed, may the items in this collection bring you insight and inspiration. Okay, so just that second paragraph is just like personalizing your craft to yourself. So here is the two artwork pieces. So we have this one, a house blessing. Very beautiful, the pentagram and the beautiful roses. Bring some. I'll just put this one here for now. And then we have this beautiful evil eye. It almost looks like a beautiful like Persian carpet or something. <laughs> no way, long ways. Um, I have evil eyes all around my house and all over my doorknobs. So this is kind of funny. Um, seeing that as the protection thing 
I always love saving the ties for when I get new Oracle decks. I like to wrap them. And then here is our big protection. A compendium for protecting the home. Very beautiful. The moon phases. Weekday colors, botanicals, stones, metals. I love seeing the Arabic. <laughs> beautiful like sigil. Anointing oils and brews, animals, magical beings. Amulets, charms, talismans, and curios. So that's very beautiful. Here's like a full shot of that. I love the little door. <laughs> so then <clears throat> it just talks about that's the second item on the ledger the Book of Shadows reference artwork. Um, was created for this collection to provide simple correspondences useful when creating spells and charms for your home. Keep this print within your BOS for reference or displayed in your sacred space. Written and illustrated by the beloved A.E. Alden. And then, um, our candle is kind of like the next thing. I've been liking these little like bags that they've been in the room. It's a nice, hearty <laughs> black candle, perfect. And then um, our candle always goes with the incantation. So it talks about the third item. This is the hand rolled potent protection spell candle. Um, we have hand rolled this potent spell candle with the intention of creating a safe space for you to study, practice, and commune within your home. Feel free to incorporate this candle into any protection ritual or rite. We have included the oils of cedarwood, almond, lavender, and sage into the rolling of the spell candle. We, rec we recommend noting your experiences within your Book of Shadows. That's beautiful. And then we have the Witch's Guardian Talisman Artwork Protection from the Evil Eye. This is the fourth item. This beautiful mandala design features a unique Nazar meaning insight and surveillance. <laughs> meaning sight and surveillance. This specific design was exclusively created for this collection and is intended to hang above a doorway or place upon an altar or to act as a protector against the evil eye. Illustrated in, or excuse me, just illustrated by A.E. E. Alden again. She does all the beautiful artwork in the boxes, all the witches moon boxes, which I'm obsessed with. Um, so next is actually the oil. So I remember seeing this. I was thinking I would have loved seeing. Um, I've been obsessed with them doing the sprays. Like we received um, the golden harvest or a spray. I love using um, aura sprays in my practice. I feel like it helps ground you before you do things. Um, I think um, I forget who said um, they asked me about what do I like to use sprays for. I think it was Miss Susanna. <laughs> um, and I like to use um, sprays before I do divination, like tarot or oracle readings. Um, I like to use sprays when I'm cleansing, clearing, um, or I'm like trying to put myself in a certain space. I like to like um, kind of use sprays um, to kind of put me in a place, you know. Um, 
and that's why I really like it for divination so it's like you can tap into energy and I like like doing that but um and then I liked doing seeing you know what the correspondence is of what's in the spray to use it for specific things so like you know um a lot of people like you know like to use clove for protection and stuff so like wearing clove in like a protection type of way or um or you know basil something with basil in it you want to like um you want to open doorways for yourself um that's like another like you know the correspondences to the different things so yeah <laughs> i figured i'd like kind of share that but this is um really cute bless this house It has like a bite to it, but it smells, um, smells like someone like working in a garden or something. Like in a way, like I almost get like, it's like it has, especially when I like shook it up and rubbed it on, it smells like cut up fresh, um, stems. Like that's what I get. It smells like cut up fresh, like flower stems. And like taking apart like flower petals and stuff because when I um my bouquets dry out I like to take apart you know my flowers and use them that's exactly kind of what that reminds me of <clears throat> so it says about the bless this house magical anointing oil this very potent bless this house anointing oil is created with the intention of bringing protection and magical enhancement to the home as you use this oil be sure that your intentions are clear. We will often recite short intentional mantras as we use this oil to anoint the corners of your home. In addition, we, in addition, this oil can be used into dressing any spell candle lit for well-being of the home. Um, we enhanced, or excuse me, we have enchanted this magical anointing oil with vanilla, basil, sweet orange, and jasmine oils, and have included the herbs vervain, basil, lavender, and rose as well. Inside your oil, you'll find a quartz crystal said to personify oneness into your aura. And then they have included a special mixture of here we stand magical oil from the personal cabinet witchery, and the base is sunflower oil. I like using the oils that I get from them for candles, um, for, um, anointing, like, my jewelry or, like, um, like, worry stones and stuff so I get the smell and, like, the herbal properties onto the stone. I like doing that. I also like to use oils, um, when I do baths, um, when I take baths, um, I also like to use, I, I use oils for a little, like a whole lot of things. I could like, <laughs> I could write a little ledger of how many things I like to use oils for. Um, but, um, you know, the spray is so nice because you can just mist it and you can like make an ambiance and like make like a scene and like put yourself somewhere, you know? So that's like kind of like the difference where I see as a, like them being two different little tools but um because you know one's a little more potent than the other but yeah I love using both in my practice as well <laughs> I think a lot of us do um the next thing actually that goes um I thought the incantation went with the candle but it actually goes with the um oil So um, they have the artwork after the oil this time. A House Blessing by Scott Cunningham, Book of Shadows artwork. This, or these words have been taken from the page 150 of the Magical Household by Scott Cunningham. On page 151, you will find a more in-depth explanation into what actions can accompany this spell. And then the border illustrated by A.E. Alden. So we have that. Um, next I just see is this Yerba Mate, Yerba Mate, maybe, 
um, tea. I love the stickers that they've been doing. So this is the 10th item on the ledger. The Yerba, Yerba Mate or Yerba Mate Ritual Herbal Tea Bags contains caffeine. This wonderful earthly tea contains one simple ingredient, Yerba Mate, known for its ability to increase concentration, drive away stagnant energies, and improve overall well-being. Yerba Mate is a common favorite. And it's so funny, I was just using it. Um, I've been like been using Yerba Santa a lot and they gave it in a roots box um, I think last October and I was just I'm like no I'm <laughs> like maybe like I'm at the bottom of the bag so I'm happy to have like another bag <laughs> of this I actually that's what I dressed my candle when I, like the first time I did it um, with Yerba Santa so I like the energies of this plant I think it's very grounding and cleansing um, so it says about the Yerba Santa this is the ninth item as we continue to honor Scott Cunningham please see the following description of Yerba Santa from the Encyclopedia of Magical Herbs Yerba Santa is carried to improve or to attain beauty and infuse an added to baths. For the same reason, the leaves are added to healing and scents and are worn around the neck to ward off illnesses and wounds. It is also carried for spiritual strength, to increase psychic powers, and to protect the bearer. Gender, feminine. So yeah, I, that's actually, I like to use it in divination and um, as protection, so it's kind of like, <laughs> I use it for that same reason. So, now we have, um, reminds me of like one of my first, um, purchases. It was a big bag of Ulexite though, not selenite. It actually kind of looks like, um, a broken selenite bowl. Can you kind of see that? Maybe they had some that broke. <laughs> and they're like, I waste it. Yeah, look. Interesting. Well, it won't go to waste. It's still a piece of crystal. That's interesting. Yeah, it's like all, um, wonder if something happened. <clears throat> but yeah, it looks just like, woo! Mm. Whoops! <laughs> I got some wax on myself. I love the sticker though. Did the witches moon watch my full moon video <laughs> about the selenite? I love using selenite to protect my home. So you might have seen. <clears throat> I have like a grid across my house. Um, so I definitely love to use it for that. I'll probably want to like play around and tumble these pieces. But I would probably make a grid around the candle. Or just like put these in plants or something. Um, or put them in little sachets, maybe. Um, so this is the five, six, seven, eighth item on the ledger, selenite crystal pieces, as stated within the Encyclopedia of Crystal Gems and Mineral Magic Book of, or Magic Book by Scott Cunningham. Selenite is a clear layered mineral specifically, or excuse me, superficially, resembling calcite named for a selene an ancient moon goddess it is exchanged between lovers for reconciliation the stone is also worn to lend energy to the body include this stone in your magical garden place around the home or include within an offering bowl on an altar energy receptive planet moon element water powers reconciliation and energy so we have that they gave um I, they gave a beautiful edition of um, the Crystal Gem and Minerals Magic book. I think that was like the, fir the first, or maybe that was the second September I was getting the Witch's Moon. It's beautiful and blue. Should I go get it real quick? I'll go get it real quick. <laughs> so for you, it might have just been 
<laughs> you might even not even realize it, but um, I had to come back because um, I had to do a couple things. Um, a couple things came to the door, and then <clears throat> um, I just had to do a couple things. But um, I figured when I came back, I wanted to show my favorite evil eye, um, like talisman I have, because I love camels so much. <laughs> Um, so this was like, I had this on the outside of my bedroom door. <laughs> but um, I wanted to kind of just like show that. It's, but I have evil eyes everywhere in my house. And then this is the book that um, they're referencing. I kind of wanted to like do some videotape some things out of this um, book. There is like making stone a stone rune set and then like a stone tarot but I have the complete book of incense oils and brews I have a copy of the encyclopedia of magical herbs Wicca in the kitchen I was just reading that um, due to Lunasa and working in the kitchen um, I've been wanting to get I want I've been wanting like them to do a copy of the Book of Shadows by him. I think that would be cool. As well as the Hawaiian magic and spirituality, I think that would be really cool too. And spell crafts, maybe. Or a truth about magical herbs. But yeah, there's like, you know, <laughs> so many um, copies. Here's actually the copy of, um, this was from last year, Wicca in the Kitchen. And like I said, I've been reading. Um, I re-picked up that one, but this one I was like really um, referring to, and it was beautiful with um, silver gilding. Oh, wow, it's gone. I kind of um, crunched these up a little bit more because <laughs> um, they just, it's kind of a funny thing, you know, to like, especially because I just bought selenite bowls from their moon market and then to like kind of receive you know, like a broken pieces in a bag. I kind of find, you know, that little, um, a little strange. You know, I, I can see them like using up pieces and once they're kind of broken up, you know, I can see, you know, the smaller pieces, but yeah, just like, you know, kind of, kind of a different, thing um so that was what the book um they were referring to was um which i enjoy that edition the next thing in here is um this little baby right here so here is a little selenite Talisman with a little tassel. And then it's on like a, a maroon, or actually it's brown. That's what it's brown cord. It's wrapped in selenite. So this one I could see since I have, um, I actually like kind of made something similar to this. Um, it's downstairs though, so I don't want to like be crazy and go get it, but um, so that I could just like put this one and the one I made on each side and it'd be really cool. <laughs> like I said, I, it's so funny. I, these are the two things I use to protect my home. So it's funny to just, you know, that they vied with that. Um, this is the five, six, seventh item, the hanging selenite protection amulet. The beautiful protection amulet has been included for you to hang above a doorway, altar, or sacred space. The combination of the evil eye bead and the selenite crystal were formed to cast away negative intentions and foster a fulfillment of positive energy. So we have that. 
I feel like they could have like um, like three different like a couple selenite bars in here or something. But I could see, I, I mean, I understand what they're doing, but I just think it's a little bit, it's a little bit strange, you know, you just, when you just bought something, I bought, you know, six or seven of these, and then to receive a broken version in your box, um, you know, it's kind of, it's just kind of a little strange, you know? Um, but I understand where they're coming from, like gridded or in your house, using spell bags. I mean, um, I can, I can see it, you know. So here is the next thing, the Great Emanator, Sacred Salt. And they've been doing a good job of sealing <laughs> the salts. Um, so I, I don't want to open it until, I noticed, um, when you do open the salts, they kind of um, turn a white color. Here's like um, a Persef per <laughs> Persephone, like the Samhain salt. I have those out because, you know, Persephone comes out around this time. But you can see like these white pieces when the air touches some of the salts, it's like they turn white, I've noticed. This one I haven't opened much, but I noticed that. Um, so I try not to open the salts until I really am using them, you know? So I don't know what this smells like, but it looks like there's, I don't know what, what herbies are in there, but I love the little sticker. <clears throat> this is the 12th item, the Great Emanator Sacred Salt. The very special blend has been created with the intention of enhancing your energetic aura. One of the most powerful and vibrant objects within your home is you. When you walk into someone's home who is a kind, relaxed, and filled with positive energy, you can feel it. Reflect in everything that surrounds them. The sacred salt was created to charge this very spiritual battery. Relax and let go of preconceived thoughts and expectations. Allow your inner chatter to slowly stop cluttering your emotions. We have enhanced, or excuse me, have enchanted the sacred salt with violet, geranium, and bergamot oils, as well as vervain, basil, and parsley herbs. We have included a special mixture of the golden orb, <laughs> magical oil from our personal cabinet of witchery in the making of the sacred salt. I almost was going to say basil. Um, but I was like, I don't know it. I have no idea, especially because I like, can't smell it. But, um, yeah, I'm definitely going to use that for the new moon tomorrow. New moon bath. I did a bath today because I'm not feeling the greatest. And then before the big item, we have our sacred space ritual incense. And this is the 11th item on the ledger, the sacred space ritual incense sticks. As you allow the smoke from this ritual incense to waft throughout your sacred space, allow the energies of protection and comfort to surround you in your home. Burn this incense during home blessings and rituals. I will save this for when I burn the black candle. And I have a couple other candles that I'm um, working with. When I do do my protection spell. And here is the last item in the box. So this one's a small, smaller edition. that were in the box. And um, 
then we always had a um, piece of parchment paper too for BOS. So I like to keep these three things together. Um, the parchment paper. So 14 items in the box this month. Parchment paper we believe to write down your intentions and goals pushes you further in accomplishing them. We have added a piece of parchment for you to write down your intentions before your rituals so that you may add to your own personal book of shadows. Um, so I did everything that was on this page. The candle and the artwork and then the big item is the, big, is the first thing. So I love saving the twine. We got a lot of books this year. This is like the third book I believe I received this year, which I enjoyed all the books that we received though. The Candle Magic Wine, the Druid Wine, and now it's this beautiful, magical household. It's kind of smaller than um, the other copies. Here's, I don't have, you know, I'm missing just wine, but here's kind of Oh, that one's like a lot smaller than, than the other two, or the other three. There's three of, there's three, or actually four copies, but I don't have, I didn't, I didn't subscribe to them yet. I didn't find them yet, um, and they did the, the, um, the Encyclopedia of Herbs, um, so I received all the other ones. I own a copy of the Encyclopedia of Herbs because I do like referencing that. So they talked about page 100. So here's the inside. Moving into a magical household. The magical household. Herbs and authors. Spells and rituals for the home. Dedication of friendship, which is beautiful. So first edition printing in 2023. So here is just a little. So they even have the garage protecting, or excuse me, protection by the broom and rag, household purification, moving, the magical year, house spells. Household omens and portents, the household altar, house war, the hearth, threshold, the power, furnishing, streaming, stove and spoon, bathing and brushing, the indoor garden, fur, fins and feathers. Ooh, I'm excited to see that one in the mystic garden. I was reading, um, what was it called, that Witch's Household, I think, um, that it's the same author that wrote Green Witchcraft, that was page 151, but there's artwork in here, which is cute, here's a house blessing the artwork that was right here that goes with the oil Oops. to charge your house with luck and the house blessing and then uh, what to do S set down incense and draw the likeness of your house and finished Go outside, check your drawings. When finished, take a white candle and a sharp knife. Let the candle burn down one notch the first day. 
On the seventh day, after the candle is burned down all the way, fold the drawing into a tight package. Hmm. Okay. So, a little bit different. Love to know if you do this spell. Um, how do you, do you think um, it went for you? Well, it's a very cute book and it has a little bookmark in it. Like a little, um, see what, how cute the page it was bookmarked on. It's page 70. So, um, it says about the spells, exclusive hardcover, the magical household spells and rituals for the home by Scott Hun Cunningham and David Harrington. We are beyond excited to finally release our heart exclusive hardcover version of the magical household. We have collaborated directly with the publisher of Scott Cunningham collection to design the cover of this book, writing, or excuse me, working to make it look as a classic as the contents inside. In addition, upon opening the cover, you'll find a message from the Witch's Moon as with many exclusive Scott Cunningham books we have created for our subscribers, we feel truly honored to bring back a new version of a timeless treasure. And then it says in quote, Scott Cunningham practiced elemental magic for over 20 years. He was the author of more than 50 books. Scott Cunningham's books reflect a broad range of interest with in the new age sphere where he was highly regarded. He passed from this life on March 28, 1993. His work, Wicca, A Guide to the Solitary Practitioner, is one of the most successful books on Wicca ever published. Scott Cunningham was a close friend to the notable Raymond Buckland and was a member of the Serpent Stone family. We have received a special permission from the Scott Cunningham estate to have this publication printed in a hardcover exclusively for our subscribers. David Harrington is a folklorist and student of the magical arts who is a co-author of The Whispers of the Moon and the biography of the teacher and friend Scott Cunningham. He also co-authored Spellcrafts and The Magical Household. If you are anything like us, your home is filled with magical items including a variety of working charms and spells going at any one time. For a person that is not familiar with this work, it may seem scare, scary or forbidden. For us, we are passionately in love with the craft and know the true beauty that resides within these objects and workings. You may be surprised when reading this book, finding out that these are so or excuse me, there are so many spells and rituals for all aspects of the home that bring peace, protection, and prosperity. These rituals should always be written down and documented so that you can refer back to the process and results at a later time. Over the course of many years, you will bring to connect, you will begin to connect the dots, excuse me, and understand what works and what does not. This is where the beauty of witchcraft is truly found. In the inspired and intuitive moments of realization and awe, we cannot recommend enough to take the time to test new theories and explore the energetic properties of all things, learning where they fit in your real and pressing world. Be curious and playful, respectful and diligent. Find within the magical arts is the truest essence of the soul. Pure and unhinged by low vibrational emotions and intent, a quick note on the magical household from Scott Cunningham. We can take clues from our past and create an atmosphere of harmony, safety, spirituality, security, and romance in our homes. The benefits, a happier existence, protection against thieves, improved security, or excuse me, improved health, restful sleep, satisfying spiritual experiences, and a perfect environment for positive magic. Far outweigh the minor uh, minor ex expen expenditures of time, money, and energy. Creating a secure, magical environment in our homes means 
fashioning an escape from the all too physical reality of the world that has turned its back on the spiritual side of life. The home can be transformed into a meditative cocoon of positive energy that provides refuge from the stormy atmosphere of the world. But the magical home isn't just a fortress, it is one in which the magic of life is recognized and celebrated through timeless rites and spells. As you work with the recommendations and insight of this book, slowly begin to view every item in your home as a part of your magical world. The more you begin to see this magic in the things, the more impactful your work will become. As stated on the cover page of the exclusive book, may the magic within your home foster vibrant and powerful energies to aid you in your craft, the witch's moon. So, yeah, that's, um, that's everything that was in here. And we're just going to take a look at what my, um, oracle is passion so very beautiful it looks like this is the little sigil i know this deck is really cool it has like sigils you can draw for each card another one on my wish list um i probably will get it now that i received it in this box but um this was the personalized oracle reading, which is the 13th item. We have meditated and selected a card from the Talisman Oracle deck by Nora, Nora Pascaliva to place inside your box. This card in the talisman that it holds was meant for you. Take the time to connect with the imaginary, or excuse me, with the imagery and include included intention we recommend placing this card in a specific area of your home where you feel it is needed most i'm gonna put it right here and then at the end it says as you perform your rituals and spells be of pure heart and mind allow your space to be filled with beauty and compassion we urge you to continue on your diligent journey towards understanding the magic behind all things do not let opportunities for growth and transformation pass you by. If you have received this collection, you have already begun the journey towards reaching your highest self. May the blessings and beauty in your life be never ending and may you share this magic with those that may need it at this time. As we see the world, so it is blessed be the witch's moon, the witch's cottage for September of 2023, G. Ibis. The ledger is written by. And let me just show for those that just want to maybe see the ledger. So yeah, I'd like to know how did you feel about um, this month's box. I know it um, wasn't a lot of people, a lot of people didn't feel like this was their best box. And um maybe i'm just a little spoiled with receiving them for so long um you know and i have dwindled them out um from other boxes and have really i really believe that they are like the best box um so i kind of high i hold their box to a high standard i guess um i really enjoyed the theme and but I don't know, something about this, um, just this part is kind of like, I loved the book, I loved the artwork, I loved even, you know, I enjoy getting this um, because I use all these tools in my practice. Um, so it was just like, seemed very, you know, intuitive with what I, what I do. Um, you can see how much selenite I use in my full moon video that I passed, I posted from the last full moon, but I just thought that this was a strange thing, especially for just, you know, I just spent money on bowls, crystal, you know, on the selenite bowls, um, and then to receive, like, broken pieces, uh, 
it's just like a strange thing. I understand like repurposing them and you know that they could be used in a different way um, and they look a little bit better now that I smashed them a little bit more. Um, if you rewind to the beginning of the video when I first pull them out you'll see that they're like bigger chunks um, and they really show the bowl. So that's the only thing that just um, kind of just threw me off a little bit. But otherwise, you know, I enjoyed everything else. <clears throat> I always enjoy a good book, um, especially um, a special edition copy. Um, I don't own this book. Um, so, and especially this, um, I, this edition of it, you know, that they just came out with. Um, I enjoy collecting the special things that they create because the things that they do create is so beautiful and so wonderful. Um, you know, I was subscribed to like over six boxes last year and now I dwindled down to getting just the three tiers of the witch's moon. So because I just thought that they were the best with just all around customer service, um, what you're getting in the boxes, how the boxes were set up. Um, but I don't know. I feel like the Roots box was probably the best one out of, you know, the, this month's boxes. I don't know why, like, the Bounty and the Moon box kind of just felt a little so-so to me. But, um, yeah, otherwise, I'd like to know how did you feel about this box? Um, how did, you know, do you think that my... My thoughts are kind of like, uh, you know, if you just bought selenite bowls and received broken selenite bowl in a box um, from the same place, I feel like that's kind of like, but it's like, you know, I, everything else I resonated with, the protection spells, you know, like the Yerba Santa, I, you know, the evil eye. Everything was like, you know, I I think it was really cool, you know. Um, the artwork's beautiful. I just, um, I love the book. I would just, um, this would have been cool if this was a spray, I think. But, um, but otherwise, you know, I enjoyed it. I loved how they, you know, did the Oracle deck with this with this box too because I could you know that talisman deck kind of goes with this vibe of the protection or like you know manifest manifesting things into your home um because that oracle goes over everything and receiving the passion one I feel like I can just be a little bit too passionate about some things sometimes when I really am a big fan about things um you know I just want things to be the best for like every line, you know, um, that I that I'm involved with, so I just kind of just see it that way. But yeah, thank you so much for hanging out with me. Um, I'd love to know what you're doing for the new moon, um, and if you are doing, if you've done any protection spells, um, you know, what do you like to do? Um, how do you like to protect your home? Um, if you like to share that below and <clears throat> I'll be posting about the giveaway um, after I receive my team wild box so um, yeah please look out for that um, and thank you so much for hanging out with me it means so much and I look forward to seeing you in the next one bye guys please stay safe out there